We will never be able to explain to a cynical world the early mornings, the stops at the Waffle House, that they're as much a part of the day as the hunt itself, that our gear, dirty and worn, is priceless. It's comforting and will hang on the wall long after we're able to walk the fields, long after we're gone. Our guns will pass lovingly into the hands of our sons and daughters. And when they bring it to their shoulders and they press it to their cheek against its worn stock, they'll feel us and they'll know the freedom that the outdoors provided, the space that our wives gave us to think, to commune. It's our jewelry box, and we gladly fill it, and we knowingly will let it go. My grandmother gave me my first gun when I was five. Her name was Tig. She was married at 14 to my grandfather, who was 19. They lived in Oklahoma, and they lost everything in the Dust Bowl when the banks closed their doors. But before that gun could pass into my hand,